Okay, good lords. Welcome to the Chaos Studio Hamburg at AC3 Nowhere. Now live from from nowhere. So we have had a couple of technical uh, technical difficulties, but now we are uh, get, we have got the stream up and running. So, um, so uh, in this year's uh, remote Stellwerk experience, uh, remote uh, signal box operation. Um, so Stefan, Andreas, and uh, 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 did a lot of efforts to uh, give you the possibility to uh, operate a a, a classical uh, signal box. We are a bit late here, and uh, so let's right start right now, so that as many of you can uh, join the experience here and live being a dispatcher at a, uh, um, a signal station. And Andreas and Stefan are going to explain you. Um, we're running this uh, this museum, this signal uh, signal box museum here. Hey, so I'm switching over to uh, to uh, the microphone to uh, um, to them, so we can actually start here. Hi, and welcome. I'm STB, as Sandra has just explained. And together with and Andreas, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm operating this um, mu museum uh, museum uh, signal box here. So we've uh, last year we have operated a mechanical signal box, and this this year we are in a slightly newer kind of signal box uh, in uh, of the 20th century in a mechanical uh, mechanical switch box. And so we thought, um, so we we not only change the the uh, the uh, the shape of uh, the the methods of the of the a signal box, but we also uh, have a more complicated uh, uh, station with two different signal boxes. And so to explain what's happening here, we are going to run a train so I get some idea what's happening here. And then the first two candidates of you are making, um, uh, we make the main dispatcher and the auxiliary dispatcher here. So these two will have to uh, solve this uh, task together because no, uh, none of them will be able to solve, uh, to, to solve this task on their own. So Andreas, so can you prepare? Der Zug ist im Anmarsch. Wir lassen, wie wir das letztes Mal auch schon gemacht haben, die Zugmeldung aus. Eigentlich kriege ich leaving away the the um the um train messaging. So at this dispatcher and this dispatcher or main uh, signal box here, I would generally getting a call from the other dispatcher. So we're leaving this away here. I just know that. So and sorry for the noises in the background. So this mechanical technique is making a lot of noise here. And so we watch and we see not really that something's happening here. Then even by this electromechanic um, 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 way is um, that we have to look out of the window. That's why the call is so important. There's no technique uh, signaling to me that there is a train in front of the station and waiting to be left uh, left in here. So I need to get this information by other means, for example, by this call. So I'm going to the main uh, the um, the main operating desk, and I know that the train arrives from the line, and it's already stopped at, before the uh, signal F. And as a dispatcher, I need to decide in which track this uh, train should enter and I decide so um, so, I'm, so I've chosen track two because it needs a bit more work here and for the train to, uh, to enter the station because this is not my my uh, my station area in my responsibility so once I have made this decision here, so uh, so the sign for that are these three green levers here, which are the uh, the command levers, um, which tell the other um, signal box what to do here. So if you look at the sign here, uh, which is a bit hard to read, but please have a look at the cheat sheet here. So the lever on on the right has a combi combined uh, field here, and to the right it's uh, uh, track one, to the left it's a train, it's track two, and all of it about signal F, so I pull on this lever and turn it to the left, and I've just issued a command. So and I see this on the uh, on the um, the direction of this lever here. And now I'm going to the uh, neighboring neighboring um, um, or auxiliary um, uh, box. And the auxiliary operator or points operator. Usually uh, there's a bell here, but we switch this off. And just seeing a, a, a red light here, that that we are seeing a um, uh, we have got a command here. 
So we see a white disk here, which uh, uh, which means we have received this here, and this means that I have to take this um, um, this route lever route. Um, uh, route lever here into the, and the corresponding signal into the corresponding direction. And right now I cannot move that one. So this is mechanically blocked, uh, mechanically um, prevented because my points are in the wrong direction. So I need to put them into the right direction. So I'm just do the, doing this here. And in, with the candidates, I'll do this uh, in, a, in a better way, in a, a more detailed way. So at that point, I can turn my um, uh, route signal lever to the 45 degree position. So right now, it's, it's I have committed. Mean I mean I can can't uh, put the uh, put it back before the train has left. I also cannot move the um, the these points lever. And once I've uh, turned the uh, the this um, uh, route signal lever to the 90 degree pos uh, um, uh, position, now the um, the signal um, went to proceed shows the pos uh, shows proceed, and now the train is allowed to enter. And now I'm simulating this here, and this assumes that that this one is here. And with a real uh, signal box, I would need to look out of the window and check that the train is complete, so that the even the last um, uh, car has entered. So I'm moving back my signal to the 45 degree position. So, if, so I'm telling the other uh, the the um the, the other the Seaburg Seaburg station, um, telling that the train has arrived and the that the line is free. So I'm releasing the um the the train block and now the the um, dispatcher the main dispatcher has also to check that the train has arrived is at has arrived at the platform and is back there. And so he pushed the corresponding button uh, that the train has arrived, and now the, this disk gets red again for me. So before I tell this, so right now here in this room, these two um, uh, signal boxes are right next to each other, and in reality, they um, they would be in different buildings between 800 and 2,000 meters at, at the different ends of each station, and um, so the main one is the uh, is mine and uh, uh, the, uh, the f and the auxiliary one is debach süd d town south here at the um, in this example uh, it's on that one at the southern uh, southern end and the main one would be at the northern end so in reality we wouldn't be able to run between these two and uh, so uh, so the, the only way of for the two of us to communicate would be looking at the signals uh, at the at the disks here and the indicators here or um uh, or do a call with each with each other so i'm Looking here, I'm pushing the uh, the um, the back back block uh, thing, so the disk gets wet. So the um, the points operator, the auxiliary operator, knows that the train has arrived, and can move back the um, uh, the um, the route lever into the um, um, into the uh, default position. And now this this means that the uh, the dispatcher can also move the command lever into the uh, into the um, default position which was blocked before because of my level. So we are waiting of the first pair of candidates. So, so um, could you please uh, bring in that first two candidates? And I'm looking for a, 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 a different, a different um, a train. And we are just uh, we are seeing uh, we're just uh, getting some subtitles here that the big blue button doesn't work right now, and that we have a Jitsi for the candidates. Uh, uh, so if you want to participate here as a candidate, please use this Jitsi link down there. So so communication with the with the dispatcher and the uh, the candidates has uh, have arrived. Did they? Hey, welcome. Hi. Hey, so so you're the, the first one. So you're going to be the dispatcher. Thank you. Thank you. And, and so we are waiting waiting for the points operator. So let's take that one. So we have a train on on platform two, on track two. 
So we are moving the train from uh, from track eight. So the tracks are free here. So we have uh, we have a, a dispatcher and uh, and a points operator. So we have the train here. So I have to ask internally because I'm only playing on this side. Right. Now um, you have to look on the cheat sheet, which you're hopefully seeing. There are two cheat sheets that are almost identical for the um, signal box operator and the points operator. And you can see the signal A on one of the sheets. And we can see the train that has arrived from B town. And because of the layout of the train station, there's only two variants. And one train has been moved to track H, uh, 8, which is a um, resting track. So our train should arrive on track 3. I would say track 3 because it's free now. So that's straight ahead. So please throw in 1D2. All right. Then I'm going to be the remote hand and you tell me which lever to operate. Is it from genau, genau. So this is the operator, the dispatcher. So one of the levers here is the right one to make this work. Maybe as a reminder, the red levers here, the four red levers, are the track um, levers. In mechanical signal boxes, that was um, separate, but now it's one lever, which makes it a lot easier. Well, I just said yeah. track three, right? And uh, the train arrived on track two, which was the far right one. Yeah, what we did as a demonstration, that was separate. We're here in the dispatcher signal box, the main signal box, and our train is arriving and um, we must pull one of the four levers. Which one is it? Because they're, um, they're all free, so I can't really destroy anything. That's right. Yeah, that's the good thing about this technology. A wrong operation can only make the train not work. There can't be a collision, because that's what it's there for. Well, then I'd say the um, on, on track three which lever? I would have to guess because I missed something earlier. Yeah, just um, shortly to repeat. Before anything can happen, the points have to be set correctly. If you look at the plan, you can see the default position of the points. They're all in their default position right now. But this um, arrow is pointing up, which means default position, as you can see in the plan. Now, if you're arriving at, uh, if the train is arriving at track three, we have to know whether the points has to be switched or if it's um, correct in its default position. The default position is always straightforward. We didn't have that last year in A Town or Ailington, it was called. 
ich habe jetzt so Am I missing a plan? Achso, das, es gibt das Cheat Sheet. Da ja, das ist der Cheat Sheet. Das ist so ein PDF-Datei. That's a PDF-File. Als, als Zeichnung drin. And there's maybe our dispatcher is in the know. Then maybe we can switch positions. Uh, no, I don't have the signal diagram right now. So I don't know how the checks, uh, the points are set. They're all default, all straightforward. All right. So if 2A is straightforward, I don't have much to do, right? Well, so other than then put the blue lever to 30 degree, which one? Den 1, 2 AB. 1-2-A-B. They're on their default, 0 degrees, and there's only two positions that a points lever can be in. It's either straight up or straight down. And they're all set correctly. Yes, they are. Der Fahrstraßenhebel, ähm, habe ich den Fahrstraßenhebel? Do I have the route lever? The route le level lever? Yeah, we have um, those four levers here in red. If I have four, the problem is I can't see them. They're all in their default position. I need a road. Uh, route lever for track 3, so N3. Yeah, on the cheat sheet, you can see the four levers. There's uh, one on the left, one on the right, and two in the middle. How shall I turn them? I don't know. Is it A2? Yes. 30 degrees? 30 or 45? It should be 45, I think. Yeah, the route signal lever to 30 degrees, right? And for track 3? Oh yes, track 3. I can only see A1 and A2. Yeah, that might be confusing. Bei dem einen steht A und one jetzt stellt er eins hin. Das ist die Lever Seite. has um, the big Aber one. Das ist die That's the signal Seite position. Also links ist nach Gleis 3. Left is ist track 3. And right is track 2. So. Hm. Ah. Genau, diese hochgestellte Zahl gibt an, so wie viele the, äh, wie, wie, wie viele Signale. The high number ja, shows also, the number of signal levers. So one wing, if it's A1, it's in this position, which is the speed. And then if you have two wings, it's a slow speed. So, and two is so regular that it's often left out. Well, then I want to go 35 degrees. 45 degrees to the left, I'll try that, and it's impossible to switch it to 45 degree and 30 degree. Yes, that's possible, but I can't define the route because I don't have approval. Right, this is the keyword that I was looking for. Now, there's a lot of buttons up there. Now, guess which button I have to press. You can't see it in the image, probably, but um, you can see it in the cheat sheet. And you must find the right abbreviation. There's a lot of um, there's chains of letters that always begin with a Z. Just a small tip. Those are German abbreviations. Germans have always been good at abbreviations. So. The approval um, request is Z, and there's different buttons, and you must know which one. Okay, so approval request, A1, A2. Hmm.
So which track do we want? We want to go to track three. Okay, I'll have to zoom a little bit. Yeah, it's a vector graphic. You can zoom in as much as you want. He's already sweating. I was sweating when uh, drawing that. It's a beautiful drawing. Thank you. A2 and A3. Yeah, we've got three buttons, and the very left one has approval request A, high one, low three, and the other is the third one is B, so it has to be one of the three. There's no other option. And we want to go to track three. Yeah. Then let me pick the first button. Yeah. Push it. Oops. So there's a ring at the points officer. I'll disable the bell. Yeah, remember to go to this side or you're in the way. So, our points operator now sees this white signal, and on the cheat sheet you can see the green lever for the approval request to track C. So we have a white signal here. Now the points operator is needed. The Dispatcher needs approval. So I would use the green lever to set the points. Yeah, exactly. In reality, you know, would have to look out of the window to see if the tracks are clear. So let's assume that's the case. Now it gets difficult. We must also consider the tracks between and we have to ensure that our um, train driver doesn't slide past the signal because Right now, I mechanically can't pull the lever. Okay, and so we see that the that is got white, and so I can move back the uh, the um, the approval approval lever here, and and the at the uh, dispatcher another disc got white, and. Uh, the, the one, the, uh, the one at the approval reception um, got white. So um, the, the dispatcher got the approval from the uh, dispatcher, and so the uh, dispatch the dispatcher uh, is allowed to do the next step here, meaning uh, he is allowed to uh, turn the lever to 45 degrees now. So, so the uh, the uh, the route has been committed. I can't move it back. So the train has move uh, must must move before I can move this back. So what do I do next? So the uh, the signal is still on stop. So I need to do something. So we need to we need to still lock something. So what do we need to lock? So the uh, the route has been locked. So what's missing? So the uh, what was signal? So the signal is is it's still on stop. So the 45 degree uh, means the um, the route has been committed, and so let's try whether we can move the to 90 degrees. Yeah, we can. So so now the the um, the signal is on proceed. So this indicator here. Um, uh, should would tell us the green light here. It would tell us that the signal is on proceed, and the other signals are on wet. And so the train, uh, the train operator sees this. Uh, uh, train operator sees this uh, green signal, um, passes the signal, enters the the station, and if the train has has passed, then then we are allowed to um, 
to uh, basically reset everything. So as a dispatcher, I w watch the window, I uh, check that the train has passed completely, that I've actually watched the uh, last card of the train passed. So I need to uh, I need to reset the um, uh, the route. So what lever do I need to avoid? So what do I need to move back? Uh, the uh, the um, route lever. I'm moving back here, so I can move it to 45 degrees, but I can't turn it further than 45 degrees. So I cannot reset the route because from my position at the dispatcher, I cannot really see whether the train has actually arrived at the uh, at, at its actual um, uh, goal position here. And that's what I need the uh, the points operator for. So, so the, but the um, but the um, this, uh, the point operator can do. So um, um, so I'm again I'm pushing the corpora corporation button again, which are buttons uh, uh, that that confirm that that the train has arrived at the regular stop position. And they are in 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 the real place. They are put at a at the place where the uh, the dispatcher or the operator can actually see that one. So, um, but they uh, but in practice they can even be at uh, at um, arbitrary place in the in the station. So um, the so the um, where it can really be observed by the corresponding person that the train has arrived. So it happened in, in practice happened again and again. For example, for ten years there was an act train accident in um, in Bremen where it relayed because because the automatic um, uh, um, route reset per uh, per information from the tracks themselves did not did not um, 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 uh, no, um, notice the Stellwerk in a correct way that the train has arrived. So, so the train, uh, the, the the dispatcher always used the um, um, the substitute, uh, the substitute we said, and at one point, and one point it happened that the train had not actually arrived here, and uh, so uh, and bang, we had an accident at a point. So it's really really important that the um, that that the position of the train has been um, observed correctly and actually. So I have we said the route, but the um, but the uh, uh, the the um, uh, the confirmation of um, uh, of well the train to allow um, is still at the um, at the um, points operator. So that one has to, uh, so the the points operator has to do something. So the point. So now we can actually see these uh, these um, uh, these um, cooperation buttons. So so next time we use them, we, we can actually see what's happening with these buttons here. So now to the points operator. So the points operator has to move something into the main position, but it can cannot do that right now because the disk is not wise. It is it, it, not it's still white, so you cannot move the um, uh, lever into the default position. So again, so. Uh, Again, the uh, points operator has to verify that the train has arrived at the uh, at the uh, the target position at the goal position, and then now he has to push the um, um, the the route release button, FHT, fast um, uh, FT. So there are only two of them. So. So not FHT. So an FHT would be the substitute. Uh, the substitute do we set? So it's 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 complicated. To, it's more complicated to use them because uh, the, using them can can uh, create a dangerous situation there. But. Um, because with them it's possible to reset a route before the track has act uh, before the train has actually passed that the corresponding route here so um, so this uh, if uh, if I reset that one before the train has passed I could uh, I could move the, um, the 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 points before the train has while well, the train is actually still on them 
So um, the the regular uh, uh, route reset by the uh, uh, by the uh, normal route reset buttons FHT without this uh, this wet dot. Um, that's the uh, that's what we use in regular mode. Uh, we have two of them, which is uh, with the uh, which is the A button and the B button. What could this be? So uh, it could tell us uh, they they come from signal A or signal B. So I have to uh, push to uh, to push to uh, the the A button here, and we see that the red disk is coming up, and now I can um, return the um, the authorization and uh, move the um, uh, the um, points back to the default position. And there's one button, uh, one thing is still missing. I want to go into the default button, so all the levers are in default position, but one thing is still missing, which is, so So one point is, is uh, has arrived from the E-Valley, from the E-Valley station, so uh, we ha we have to uh, protect the train against get another train um, um, uh, coming coming back in. So so in the in the uh, so the uh, the um, line has been locked and uh, to um, um, so uh, so there are certain discs again for the uh, for dispatcher on a on a box on the left hand side with six six colored discs. Uh, one actual black and the others are, are uh, uh, white, uh, white and wet, and so there are so kind of block fields, um, which is for the communication between the different uh, bet between the different um, um, uh, different uh, uh, signal boxes. They are what they what we call the start fields and the end fields, and for single track lines, we in uh, we um, we additionally have uh, permission uh, fields there that derive which of the two stations actually allowed to send trains in there. So we have still one field um, uh, that's still red, which is the end field of coming from Etal, from E-Valley station. So here, so it would need, it would be wet, but it's, it's hard, it's difficult to see from uh, uh, with, with our cameras here, sorry about that. So unfortunately we can see this via the webcam. So I would like to push this uh, um, this um, end field of uh, uh, for A on um, uh, from from E from E Valley. So I'm pushing that one. The field is white, and that means Etal Etal E Valley is allowed to send to send us a train. So let's try to move the uh, the camera back then. So. So uh, watching, watching at the the director here. So, so that that is easier here. So, so the, so the train has arrived successfully. Congratulations! So there's a badge. If you have participated here, so that unfortunately we haven't implemented that right now. So, so please uh, hand hand the um, hand your handle to the uh, to the director here, and we may then make sure that we can send the badge to you. Awesome! Thank you. <laughs> difficult, uh, difficult thing for the first time. So we did in five, in basically in 15 minutes what other people are uh, um, uh, required to um, d uh, for, for other people this takes three years to learn actually. So well, so so director or signal angel next to candidates, please. All right. Our next candidates are here, or just about to arrive. What can we tell you while the others are still arriving? Andreas, give me the signal. Maybe let me tell you something about the history of the place. This kind of technology is very old. It's, the design is almost 100 years old, but the machines we have here have only been standardized in 1943, but the predecessors are very similar or not discernible from these machines. 
And after the war, a lot of them were built until relay signal boxes were invented. Uh, but we still so have some of those signal boxes, especially in use with uh, the so-called S-Bahn, which is um, an a, a city speed uh, train service. We have one in Blankenese in Berlin, uh, uh, in Hamburg, uh, for example, that's from 1925, and it's been it's been updated recently because a, an elevator was added to the platform and the speed with which the trains arrive had to be changed. The machine in Wolfenbüttel is also not very old, so it's I've been one of those old machines for a long time. So welcome. Who do we have? Hi, my name is Donna Rübe, and my name is Akulady. Hi, nice to see you. Who wants to be the dispatcher and who wants to be the points operator? Do you have a preference? <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I'll probably fail, but I'll be the dispatcher. All right, cool. Then let's have a train arrive from Sea Town, or what do you propose? Well, our dispatcher is a bit nervous, so let's do two things. Let's have um, the train in track 3 depart. That's not, there's not much to do there, but then let's have a train arrive from Ailington. That sounds very good. Okay, so let's have the train arrive from Ador, uh, Ailington first. So let's get right into it. You're lucky. Because Andreas uh, just uh, told us something. Here on the right, you have the approval field. And the train track to Ellington is a, one, is a single track. So only one signal box can have a train arrive at the same time. So we don't have that in D town, but we have it in A town. So A town can just send us the train, and this is what they're doing right now. And we hear a rattling sound, and you can't see it, but we have received a signal here that there's a train on the track and is due to arrive shortly. So we know that it'll soon be in front of the signal B. And now you have to decide on which track this train should arrive. And tip, there's only one track that's possible. Yeah, I have a proposal. We have an empty signal box here, but we can open the front of the block machine so we can see the whole layout better. So let's just have the train arrive. Now, if you look here, you should be able to see which track we have to use. It's track two, right? Yes, correct. That's the only track uh, we have approval for. But can't it also go on track one? Yeah, theoretically, yes. But um, it's not approved by the signal box. When 
this station was designed, this was not intended. And this is typical for the German trains that um, during planning it was said, uh, we don't need that, let's be efficient and leave it out. So there's three steps. Um, one is uh, default operation, the second is um, deviation from default, and if you deviate from the default, uh, you have to do a lot of paperwork and people don't want that. But theoretically, it would be possible. We have uh, metal parts up here that we're not really using at the moment. For example, you can secure the machine against certain operations. Here you, can, here you have notes indicating that certain checks are going on. All right, so the train is going to track two. What do I have to do now? Well, first, the route signal lever has to be set. That would be the second from the left, correct. And you have to turn it to the left. All right. So as before, I can turn it a little bit, but I can't turn it completely. Something is missing. All right, something's missing. I have to see. It's the same that was missing previously. Yeah, I didn't hear that because I was in the waiting room discussing. So, from the operational perspective, I'm in one part of the station right now, and what is going on in the other station, yeah, I have to notify the, them. I have to notify them that it's okay for the train to arrive on that track. All right, there was something about the buttons, right? Yeah, exactly. The approval request. Yeah, there's only one button we can use. It's the very right one. Yeah, exactly. The approval request for B. And now it's the points operator's turn. All right. Yeah. In Jitsi, you can only see one camera. The stream is lagging a little bit, but it should be B1 from Ailington. So it should be the second green lever from the left and turn it to the left. So let's see. Uh, let's look out of the window. There's nothing. So let's do it. Cool. So it's turned white. And now if you look, you can see that there's a white signal for uh, the appro approval for B. So I've got the approval and now I'm able to turn the lever. The light is going off because I behind the route and so I don't need the approval anymore. So it's been decided that the train will arrive on that track. And the white disc here, this is this confirms the approval. Okay, so if you turn it further, yeah, you can see here the indication for signal A. It's it's turned green, and Andreas is now playing the train operator and will let our train arrive. So, not a lot has happened. Up here you can see something white that was black or blue before. 
Was das genau tut, erkläre ich gleich noch, aber And I'll tell you in a moment what this does, but the train has arrived, and now we have the moment where uh, the cooperation buttons come in. This should be somewhere on the platform where you can clearly see where the train is and where it belongs. And if I push this button, B, it's not in Jitsi. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening? No, because uh, something's happening. Uh, something's missing from the dispatcher. Oh, that's me. So what's missing? What could possibly be missing? Which position is the signal in at the moment? Oh, the signal is still green. So I have to set that back to red. Yeah, right. To stop. And if I now push the button, Does it work for the points operator? Now this field is red again. And from my side, everything's done. The path is clear. So, and at the point operator, they, um, uh, we, are, we have the bell, and this, well, what does it mean? Well, I need to move back the, uh, the green lever, but this, I can't do that. What does it mean? It means that we, there's something we still need to do, and we need to check that the uh, train has arrived at the regular stop, uh, stop position. So uh, let me check the uh, let, let me let me check uh, check that one here the the uh, the cheat sheet here in this diagram. So oh my God, so many different buttons here. Uh, okay, so um, what do we have here? So I need to uh, um, uh, um, I need to tell back that we need to uh, that so i need we want to uh, want to we set the um we set the the route means i need to block the uh, the, uh, the the get the block field but that one is only at the uh, the up uh, the um dispatcher so the, that's not working here we, we only have them for coming from seabox so this means i need to Tell, I need to enter that the train has arrived. Which do you have to reset a route? Um, the, the keys are on the upper side. Let me check. Let me check. There are some which are yellow. So, so um, route reset button. I will need to push the one. So we, 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 we had the, the, the route B, so we need to push the button, uh, uh, the, the, the um, reset button B, and now the, uh, the field got wet, meaning I can finally move the approval lever to the default position. And we're now at the point where the dispatcher um, um, talks with the, uh, with the dispatcher in, C, uh, in Seaburg, which then confirms that they uh, they uh, they will accept that that train so so there's a there's a this is a certain protocol here between the dispatcher of seaburg and uh, and our town here um that the the um seaburg uh, um so that um um that our town uh, that d town um um That, that, that D town um, um, offers a train to uh, to Seaburg. Seaburg then uh, returns that they accept this train, and uh, well, the whole procedure that the uh, the train can actually leave the station here. So as a dispatcher, there isn't much for you to do here, but what you need to do is tell the the point operator which route uh, uh, to to set. So the uh, the the point operator is not allowed to make this decision by themselves, and the um, the uh, signal box 
uh, the signal box prevents this from happening. So what I need to do, I need to move one of the the green uh, command levers, the leftmost here, I guess. So we have three command levers here, and one of them is the right one. So I'm I'm currently on uh, platform on, on track two. So the leftmost of that is to Seaberg, and this one I need to turn 30 degrees to ah wait uh, no i so the train is leaving from uh, from track track three <laughs> well actually we still have it we still have a, tra a train on place three so the train on place uh, on track three is leaving now so i'm turning this lever to uh, to the left and and now we are. So this is some some old uh, tech. So so, does, so it takes takes a bit. So we uh, we given the command, and so hopefully the point operator now also do. So we have a white disk here at the at the the left most or the first mode from left uh, first mode from the left um, uh, wet lever. The left disk is white. Meaning, I want to uh, go from to track three to Seaver. So, so the lever is there. If I would try to move this to the left, this probably would not work. I can confirm that it cannot move. That's something's missing there. It it it's uh, stuck at the zero zero degree position. So it's a, it's so small at the at that one. So if I want to go from three to C, this means that point twelve and GSX is a um, is a, a derailleur. So I need uh, uh, need point twelve to going AC. This which means this means that lever 12 ab is is in default position no. so so um, so this uh, this um, this uh, this um, uh, in german translation the move, moving part of a point is is uh, is called tongue zunge so we have a single uh, a, well we have a single double point here so, and uh, we have uh, there, there are single double points and double double points in german and this one is a single one which can only do uh, two different directions in our case that a and b are are, um, uh, are, um, are combined and C and D are combined, which is which you typically see with uh, with the model trains as well. But with the real trains, in most cases, it's well leaving aside the Switzerland, of course. In Germany, this means that the uh, the this uh, double double points are either all go to left or to the right. So right now, we would be in the uh, default position here. So this one is setting it set in the straight to towards the derailleur, and so the, because uh, behind the behind the derailleur, the, behind the derailleur, um, this uh, this track is not accessible. So this so this means we need to go around that one, meaning I need to go to it, uh, point thirteen. So I mean I need to uh, move uh, the point thirteen. For the uh, 90 degree position, and now what do I need to do here? This means 12 A B. It's it's right, yeah. So then I, I would be able to move that in that one. And this this is correct, right? So we have unfortunately we don't have a camera to the uh, to the light table here, and now this means that the that the all the points are correct from uh, for the uh, for a route from track three to the uh, to the oppo opposite uh, of the uh, the opposite track towards Seaburg here. So, oh, the, the left the or oh, the the left of the left hand side track or the old term wrong track actually. 
So, um, so the question is, are we allowed to go? So, well, it turns out that the dispatcher has actually uh, um, commanded us to do to, to do this, and actually uh, 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 she has called with uh, Seaberg that everything is fine and that everything is blocked and that this was sweet. So this means that the wet lever they should be able to uh, to move the wet lever to the left and so we are at 45 degrees so this this got a bit right so i cannot move the, that one back so the uh, all the points are locked and if i turn further it it's it uh, we see that the um the signal has moved off on to proceed so actually we don't have any any specific lights light for the uh, for the signal themselves but uh, what we have here is are the um, uh, are some additional locks which would be the um, the station repetition lock and the line repetition lock i haven't explained them yet here but um so let me just uh, have the train leave the station here so which which one are we taking so it will be uh, um, track three <laughs> Making sure that <laughs> that only the right uh, uh, the right train will leave the station, and I'm not getting in trouble with the um, with the accident uh, the, the, the accident commission here. So um, train has left, and all points are, are free now. So so we would we would be able to move the um, signal back to back to stop here. Uh, so I checked that the uh, the uh, Train is uh, is um, I can stop. So should I turn any further? Well, let's try. But I I'm afraid that oh it works. Oh, works. Ah, so it works. So we can clean up everything. So moving all uh, points back to their default position. And now we still have these two red lights here. So ha uh, So which is the the station repetition lock and the uh, the line repetition lock. What what what's the purpose? So um, before I told that the uh, the line block is trying to make sure that um, it's making sure that two of trains following each other cannot cannot uh, uh, cannot well no no train can directly follow another train here and collide with that one. So uh, so I can only set a um, signal to proceed one, uh, once. So um, which means that by now, since the train has uh, one train has already passed. I, uh, if I set the next route, I can set this uh, set the route, commit to this route, but I cannot move the um, uh, I can cannot move the um, lever to the position that sets the signal to proceed again, because there there's still still a uh, train on on the track. So um, yes, so the. Well, so the the this um, this, this memory here tell, uh, um, tells us the there's still another train in that one, and I cannot set this back. So what I need to do, I need to push the button, turn turn the crank here, uh, that one here. So so coming to the, the uh, crank here, the the director uh, um, t turns the crank here, and so the um, so this field here, the start field, and so the line the line repetition lock um, go went back to the default position. So, uh, but there is still the uh, the the line block is is still uh, it's uh, the line block is still active. So this field is uh, field is not wet here. So the 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 station uh, the station repetition lock um, is uh, only making sure that the, that I can only have one main leaf on the command of the dispatcher, not twice. So um, I still need. Uh, so in this case, the dispatcher needs to do something. Um, so in the meanwhile, I'm I'm uh, going uh, go over to the uh, Seaburg station and making sure that the tra train has arrived. So there's one thing you haven't done for the uh, for the train uh, departing. There's one thing missing here. So for departure, well, let me check. 
I have moved the um, I have moved the uh, the command lever, um, and I still have to we set that one. I have to set this to the default position here. Moving that to the default position, and that's it. One one thing I for forgot to to mention before we look into the box here. When we uh, when the train arrived from Adolf, there's one thing we forgot. I briefly mentioned that before it arrived, but there's one thing we should have done. So the 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 uh, the, um, the one is still blocked. There's still still something we have to do here. But the train is still locked here. So the end the end field is still wet. The one coming from Adolf, which means. I need to on the left hand on the left box. I can't really see this right now. It's hard to see here. No, it's 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 the ah here. Yeah, now we have the right camera. So on from this five ones right uh, from it to Ido, A town, Ellington. And so we have the um, B1 Anfield. I'm pushing this button and turning the crank here. So we generate some, some power here. So the electric signal is going back to Ellington and the field is now white in Ado in Ellington. And uh, the corresponding field in Adolf itself, their field got white as well. And so this uh, this uh, line is free now. And so almost everything in default position, but the train has not arrived. But um, Hami, can you please go to switch to DS? So we would block back from C turn. You can see the middle field, which is red, and which, if we now block back from C town, we can see a switch. All right. Now you can maybe see it better. You probably can't see it as well on the screen. It's a beautiful work um, of electromechanics, and this design is still used, even though it's from the 19th century around the 1870s, 1880s. I'm um, absolutely fascinated by the fact that they were able to produce this in mass production and still precisely the millimeter. There's nothing you can adjust here or repair. They're either they work perfectly or they're broken. And there's no over-adjusting, and this contributes to security. I don't know if you can see my stream right now, but I have an old phone here that's operated with a crank. And I think it's the same principle here. But it doesn't it, it doesn't doesn't ring as loudly. Yeah, it really looks like it. They're compatible. We've tried it. And it works. Really nice. Cool. Thank you for the experience. Thank you very much. So which camera should I look at now? Remember to leave your email address so you can have the badge. Thank you. Last year, I was also a part of the mechanical signal box, and this was very nice to see as well. Thank you very much. Then we're looking forward to the next candidates. Let's have a look at the time. Lass es mal zu. Ich glaube, das, das ist so weit weg okay. von der Kamera. Ich glaube, das kann man eh nicht gut erkennen. Also so, um, das eine offene Feld da drüben. Lassen wir noch ein paar Züge von und nach Zeeburg fahren, dann passt das. Let's do some Sea Town trains again.
Now there's no sun. Uh, okay. Ich höre nur als Klingeln. There seems to be a technical issue with the sound. We'll be back ich when the talk continues. Ich weiß nicht, ob wir jemanden haben. Ich höre momentan Flo mit Stefan sprechen, glaube ich. Jetzt höre ich auch im Moment gar nichts. Wir können sonst auch erst mal mit einem Kandidaten weitermachen, weil dann würden wir den Zug in Gleis 2 nehmen. Maybe we'll continue with one candidate. Den kann man mich jetzt hier hören? Ja, kann man. Kann man mich auch hören? Ja. There's still some sound issues. All right, like, it looks like we have ja. two candidates. So, dann ich habe den Stream noch stumm gemacht. Dann würde ich jetzt. Wir brauchen einen Fallenleiter well. und den Weichenwärter. So, then we need a dispatcher. And I would postpone the points operator to the next round. And I would have a try and arrive from. Wenn das so in Ordnung ist. B, I think. Ja, ist in Ordnung. Okay. Ja, dann würde ich sagen. That's right. Also wir haben den Zug in Gleis 2 stehen. So we have a train positioned at track 2. And we wanted to drive to um, Beham to the left. So Dispatcher, please tell me what should I do. Alle Weichen sind in Grundstellung. Strecken All in Grundstellung. the points are in their default uh, settings and the track in it is in its default setting. Where is the train located? It's at track 2. At the P2. Moving signal. And it's in the direction of coin 6. So we have to set points 3. Yeah, done. Then points 2a, if I'm seeing it correctly. Yep, done. And I think to be also, yep. And points one. Maybe you can hear a sound now when I move this. Yep. Das sieht schon mal gut aus. It's looking good. Okay, dann den Fahrstraßensignalhebel then einmal na, den dritten please turn the route lever to P2 to the left. Ja, lässt sich schon bis 45 Grad umdrehen. Yep. I'm able to put it to 45 degrees. Ja, weil Should I turn it further? Yeah, but that won't work because we need approval. No, we only need approval from the points operator. Shouldn't we have to announce the train to Ellington? Let's try that. 
Yep, it works. Now I have to leave the image. I'll go to the train operator's desk, which you can't see. And is jetzt rausgefahren. Now the train has left the station. Looking out of the window, I'm able to confirm that all the points are clear. We can't clear the route right now, correct? I'll try. See, it's turning red. Can you put it back to zero degrees? Yeah, that's possible. Then please reset all the points. So, jetzt ist hier noch eine Lampe angegangen, All right. die immer noch leuchtet. Jetzt Now there's a light that's still on. E. There's a block before 2E. That's now illuminated. It was dark before. Das hat was zu tun mit dem Verschluss der Ausfahrsignale. It's got something also to do with the exit signals. Müssen wir da jetzt noch was beachten? Is there something we have to do? Okay, dann yeah, have a look at the diagram. The first field on the line repetition lock. This is the key lock. It used to be blue, now it's white. This is to prevent the field from being blocked. Und das ist es tatsächlich auch. Jetzt müssen wir warten, yeah. dass der Zug in Epal angekommen ist. Now we have to wait for the train to arrive in E-Town. So E-Town has to do a few more adjustments. Now I'll cheat. All the true train nerds, please look away. This is not possible in real signal boxes, and for good reason. So, that was right. Perfect. Thank you. Please remember to leave us your email address to leave it to the signal angel so you can receive your badge. And then we need a new dispatcher and points operator. We still have a points operator waiting. So, Stefan, are you back again? Stefan? So for those listening here, we have two directors here. So we have the director right in the room here, uh, behind the lever box of, of Seaburg, uh, with not very much space there, with lots of lots, lots of tech uh, um, up here. And then there is the uh, director at the Chaos Studio in Hamburg, who are uh, who are responsible for sending this via uh, the whole video stream via VOC here. So, we brauchen auf jeden Fall einen Zug. So, we need a train. Uh, hmm. Ja. Wir haben ja so, so we have a new dispatcher uh, super soon. Stefan, any ideas? So, can we make can we uh, um, make this more difficult? Uh, uh, having two trains arriving from different directions. So, then let me prepare this. And sending one train from from E Valley? Nee, aus no. Richtung, um, from direction Seaburg as well. So Magst du in, in e bitte auf Gleis could you, in, in, in Valley? Can you in E Valley? Can you can you send a, a train from uh, from E Valley and remove the train from the uh, the, the 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 opposite uh, opposite track, please?
Nee, irgendwie kommt von Stefan kein Ton. Hm. So, we, are, we don't have any, any sound from Stefan. Coming in here. Uh, nein, ich würde dich auch nicht über den Kopf. No, aber. I can't hear you. Verwirrt und stumm. So, silent and confused. Jetzt. One, two. Ah, now. Now I can hear you. Hey. Okay, mute and unmute works. So, should we, should, should we swap again? Okay, Make, uh, use this video. So, do we have a, uh, do we have candidates? Hmm. Check. So I don't know whether I'm going to be dispatcher or point operator, or should I remain point operator? So you can choose. So then I'd like to be uh, I'd like to serve as a dispatcher here. So, so the higher rank job here. So, <laughs> so the number of bars on your shoulders is important. So I don't really know. Is anyone else here uh, 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 serving as point of waiter? So let me ask the, uh, the director. Do we have a second candidate for points of waiter? Let me, let me open the cheat sheet for, uh, for dispatcher. Yeah, that's a good idea, I guess. Das hilft auch. Hast du den? Hast du ja. Ja. Dann würde ich den auch auf Halb stellen. Ah, okay. So, let me uh, turn on the, the heater. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the this old cards are not very well isolated. So we need to to uh, put a lot of heat into uh, into these cards uh, using a lot of electrical power here. So, director, do we have a second candidate? If not, we leave the... Ah, here we are. Okay, so it's nice to have a, have a second candidate here. So we can we can start on the points operator. We can start at the points operator side. So we have two trains here, Andreas. From your side, there's a train approaching from Seaburg, and from E Valley, um, we have another one here. So I'm listening to you. Hi. I hear you. So, so what's your name? Houston. Hi. So you're you're going to be um, point operator if you like. So, so the the dispatcher is allowed to decide which tra uh, train uh, should should arrive at which uh, uh, track here. So the situation is we have two uh, two trains approaching, one train approaching from Etal. And at the uh, dispatcher, it's it's standing in front of signal A, and we have another one uh, coming from Seaburg, and it's at the point of operator standing in front of the um, uh, uh, the um, signal F, and all station, uh, all tracks of the station are free. So I'd say let's uh, let's enter uh, enter the the train coming from E Valley to. From Ital to so from Seaburg and from E Valley. So from Seaburg to uh, to track one, and then from E, uh, e, uh, e Valley to track two. So tell me, which uh, which uh, um, which levers do I need to move? So all points are in default position, right? Yeah, which means that we now need to. So we need, need uh, the, 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 the double point. We need to uh, move to the uh, to the um, diverging direction. So we need to move to A and to B to to uh, to move in the 90 degree position to A 
and to B, because that one is the second half of the uh, point, uh, double point, right? Yes, but this double one, so these are basically two points within one, and A decides whether go from the, the um, arrival uh, track towards two or towards three, and B decides on whether from two or three coming to go to the to the uh, the uh, leaving or the uh, the arrival train. So this wouldn't happen automatically. So you need to decide in which one the uh, the uh, the one is there. So in the, right now it's in the straight. So coming from two or three, then you would go into into the entering one, which means that if a train coming from the the arrival uh, track uh, needs to go straight to the um, to that one, the one that's coming from the end one would, would go to the um, uh, which which basically is uh, coming from the one wrong side of the other uh, point and destroy it. So we don't meaning we don't need to change that one here. So so uh, this means that still means that we have to change uh, points three. So moving this to the ninety degree position and so it only can can go to uh, to two. So the um, point six can remain in the current position and. Then we need to so the uh, the route from A to to um, two. We need to move it to the 45 degree to the right. And let me check. But it doesn't really it doesn't really work. I can't go to the 45. The good one is that the mechanical lock here let me move that one. So all points are moving in the right uh, correct position. But I still need to get the uh, the approval from. They need to get the approval, which means that that this one's the this was the, this was the one with the button with the uh, with the approval uh, request button or with the with the uh, levers. You almost said this. So what do we need? We need what we need to we need to get the approval. So so the button would be the uh, approval request button. Set A and F T A two A two right because um, track two. I'm pushing this, and at the point operator um, th uh, um, next steps here. So at the point operator, so the the bell rang, and the white disc over the left um, approval lever. Uh, left uh, left lever le lever but white disc there um, um, approval request from from a to plus track three and the bell so this means that I need I need to check whether the track is free by looking out of the window and then what's the uh, what's the um, um, the security way does it uh, Okay, and so the this uh, this uh, this keep keep free area means that that I do not take this uh, the uh, the this point ten into account uh, for safety, so I don't have to lock that one. So this means that I can turn the um, approval lever to the right, and it works perfect. So we have submitted the um, the approval. And, and at the so at the um, uh, dispatcher we see that here at this field for for uh, for a um, route from from Ital to to uh, to uh, two we have received the approval to come from Ital to um, to track two which I wasn't able to do this before, and now I can move this to 45 degree, and yes, I can do that. So the the large disk came, uh, um, got white, so the route has been committed to, I cannot move the lever back, and all points are locked, so I can move this to the 90 degree position, 
Um, so, and we see that the signal A uh, um, went to proceed here. So we have arrival. So uh, should we also should so let should we do a pa parallel uh, parallel arrival here? So dispatcher uh, dispatcher um, is in a hurry. So while that one is is happening here, we now set the arrival from Seaburg. But I t tell something wrong. So the so ah okay. So but this this but uh, so. So some security. So uh, so if a train arrives at the um, it, at uh, um, at the signal N3, it means that in our case here the point 10 needs to be locked in the straight in, in that one. Okay, in this one it, it's not necessarily, but uh, uh, it still means that for for arrival at signal N3, um, the uh, the uh, um, the point 10. Need needs to be kept free for safe, safety genau, so, reasons. Ja, also Einfahrt aus Ital, äh, aus aber dann können wir ja so we have an arrival from Seaburg. So, but, um, but, so the uh, so this, uh, but this means that um, um, because of the overlap overlap lemmings. For this approach, this means we cannot arrive at uh, platform one, but only at platform four. So this this means uh, means because of that, because the the overlap overlap route is is uh, still locked, mean we cannot even uh, give the command for having the the uh, train arrive in uh, in platform one from uh, Sea Town. But we can we can uh, but. So we can't go to uh, we can't have it in uh, go to number one, but we decide that it will arrive in track four instead because there is no overlap uh, no overlap here no um, no conflict uh, conflict between the the overlap uh, overlap part and the entry route here. So, so, so uh, well, in practice, uh, we wouldn't even even been able to uh, to have the have the uh, once the train is in track one, we wouldn't be able to send it to uh, a, a, uh, to e, e Valley anyway. This doesn't work in our one, but what we can, but let's bring this to four again. So, what do we need to do? So, we need to turn the uh, middle uh, command lever to the right, and let's try this. And happens, and the bell rings at the point operator, and this this one here got right with the middle one, and the left the left um, uh, this got right here from C Town to Seaburg to uh, to platform four, and. All right. The, all the points are set correctly. So I only need to look out of the window if everything's going correctly. And then we can turn the route lever to the left, the second lever. So you always need to um, make sure that everything's correct, then do the setting, and then make sure again. So let's do that in parallel. Andreas is going to the chain operator control bench. Chain photographers are happy right now. Both trains are at their normal. Um, uh, both trains have stopped at their normal stop points. So now either the dispatcher or the points operator now has to tell us which levers to operate. The train on track 4 could continue on to E-Valley. Yeah, it could. Then 
we would have to set back the uh, um, route lever to its default position to the left. Yeah, let's see. It's possible to turn it to 45 degrees, but not turn it back completely. So we need approval. Yes, somebody has to help us, but the this points operator can't know that because but the point operator can also do something. Yeah, they can also set their signal. So put S1 back to 45 degree. So it looks like this now. And it stays like that. I can't move it further. Now we have to go to the platform to see if the train is in the correct position. Yeah, you have to confirm that the train has arrived at the station. The left button is for signal F, which is the arrival signal. And the disk has lowered here to red. This means that the route is clear. And now let's turn it back. This worked. Now the end field of C work. So put it down. Wenn sie keine Ohren hätte, würde sie jetzt im Kreis grinsen. So, und äh, auf der Fahrdienstleiterseite gibt es jetzt auch noch was. Ich And on the dispatcher side, there's also something. Das heißt, hier, um, the route is clear. Genau. So we should das heißt, able to... to should be able to turn it back. Yes, we can give back the order. I've also done that. And then now there's a bell ringing at the points operator. Why is it ringing? It's the lever bench. So we have to return the command, right? A to track B, back to its default position. Not the command, but yeah, the approval, the approval request. No, that's not possible. That's still white, so we can't turn it. So the points operator has to become active in order to clear the route. A button must be pushed. If you have a, an alert, okay, now we have red signal and we can turn it back. The approval lever now let's discuss further in um, the breakout room. Just shortly, um, a train has arrived from E Valley, but the track is still occupied, so we have to do something. We need to give approval and um, confirm that the route is clear and set back the points. But 
Where are we on the route diagram? Yeah, the train was arriving from E Valley, so which one could it be? From E Valley. This should be the very left one. Yes. Very good. The block has been reset. The route is clear. Okay. So now we need to say goodbye. I'll be in the Jitsi room for you to um, leave your contact details so I can give you your badge. We want to thank you very much. I hope you had fun. And if you go to the Jitsi with the country.